devices used to identify the type of particles and their energies are called detectors they can be classified on the basis of ion collection method light emission or image formulation in this lecture i am going to discuss some general aspects of working of uh, gas fuel detectors which are ionization chamber proportional counter and gm counter the detectors which work on the basis of ion collection method are ionization chamber proportional counter and gm counter these gas fuel detectors work on the principle of ionization and excitation caused by any charged particle or any energetic radiation while passing through a gas let us start with the construction and working of any gas fuel detector any gas fuel detector basically consists of a gas filled cylindrical chamber which acts as cathode and a central wire which is insulated from the walls of this chamber and this acts as anode an external voltage is applied across the resistance r and an electric field is set up in the volume of the gas c is the capacitance of the chamber between the electrodes plus the stray capacitances when any incident charged particle or radiations pass through the gas filled in the chamber it collides inelastically with the atoms or molecules of the gas filled in the chamber in these collisions the incident particle or the radiation will, will lose its energy and this loss of energy of the particle may cause excitations or ionization in the gas which results in creation of ion pairs the positive ions and the electrons if there is no electric field set up across the chamber the created ion pairs will readily recombine and there will be no pulse but in the presence of some external voltage applied across the electrodes the created ion pairs will move towards respective electrodes means the heavy positive ions they will move towards the outer walls of the chamber which are acting as cathode and the electrons will move towards the central wire which is at high positive potential electrons being very light in mass they will have very high mobility and their drift velocities are approximately of the order of 10 to the power 6 cm per second and which is much higher than the mobility of the heavy positive ions which are moving towards the cathode in this process c charge q collects at the anode this accumulated charge will cause a change in potential at the anode and the, that change in potential can be given by charge over the capacitance c means q by c and this will give rise to an electric pulse across the resistance r in the diagram you can see there is another capacitor c prime it allows only the pulses to pass to the circuit connected ahead if the pulse height is low then it can be fed to an electronic amplifier and then to an electronic counter and finally we get the information about the incident radiations or particles in terms of these counts which are given by the counter uh, this information can be about the type of particle how much is their ionizing power and what is their energy the pulse height produced across the resistance r depends upon two factors mainly first what is the operating voltage of the detector and secondly what is causing the initial ionization means the initial ionizing event is caused by an alpha or beta or some light ion or gamma radiations or some neutral particles so these are the two factors the operating voltage of the detector and secondly the initial ionizing event different types of detectors are designed on the basis of uh, the applied voltages means their operating voltage and secondly what type of particles or radiations we want to 
detect using those detectors so before going into details of individual detector types it will be nice if we have a detailed understanding about the applied voltage versus pulse height as we can see in this diagram on x-axis we have taken the applied voltage or the operating voltage of the detector and on y-axis it is pulse height or the number of ions collected in this diagram we can see there are two curves curve a and b curve a shows large initial ionization while curve b shows smaller initial ionization means different types of particles are there which are causing the ionization so uh, the particle which is having higher ionizing power corresponding to that we are getting curve a and the particle which has lower ionizing power that is uh, that corresponds to curve b for a better understanding this curve has been divided into six parts or six regions which correspond to different uh, applied voltages and the pulse height. Region 1 is called ion recombination region. In this region the applied voltage is very very low and as any ionizing particle or radiation passes through the gas filled chamber ion pairs are created but because the voltage across the chamber or you can say between the electrodes the potential difference is very low and the ions the positive ions and the electrons do not get enough time to reach to the respective electrodes and they readily recombine in this situation so this region is called recombination region and with increase in applied voltage the rate of recombination decreases because now the electric field is strong enough and the ions and the and the electrons they move at a faster speed towards the cathode and the anode region 2 is called ionization chamber region now the voltage applied is so high that the recombination is almost negligible and the electrons and the positive ions they rapidly move towards respective electrodes this region is called ionization chamber region or saturation region the pulse height becomes independent of applied voltage till a voltage is reached at which secondary ionization sets in with further increase in voltage we are now in region 3 which is also called proportional region now the electrons moving towards the anode they acquire such high kinetic energies that while moving towards the anode they collide with other molecules or atoms and cause secondary ionizations so now there are much larger number of high energy electrons and positive ions which are accelerated by this high potential difference these accelerated electrons which are very large in number now they further cause next cycle of ionization thus producing an avalanche of electrons this phenomena is called townsend avalanche due to this secondary ionization very large amount of charge will be collected at the anode and corresponding to each primary ion pair created the total number of ion pairs moving towards respective electrodes or you can say total number of electrons that travel towards the central wire is known as multiplication factor means corresponding to each initial ionization what is the total number of electrons that is moving towards the anode that number gives us the multiplication factor m in the voltage range when m remains constant that region is called proportionality region and the detector which works in this voltage range is called proportional counter in this region the pulse height is directly proportional to the energy loss of the incident ionizing particle so it can be used to distinguish between the particles and their energies and their initial ionizing powers now moving to region 4 which is also called the region of limited proportionality now the voltage is further increased and 
the pulse height increases and you can see in this region at the beginning of the operating voltage there are the two curves a and b we can see them differently but as we move towards the end of this region the two curves are merging into one means in this region secondly the number of ion pairs created or the pulse height that increases in such a way that they are no longer proportional to initial ionization produced by the incident particle that's why this is called the region of limited proportionality and it is not of any use now the region 5 which is also called giger muller region or the gm region in this region the applied voltage is very very high and the pulse height also become very high as well as independent of the initial ionizing particle all the ionizing particles give very large and same height pulse irrespective of their energies or initial ionization and the detector operating in this region is called giger muller counter and this region is called gm region this region is very sensitive and even a single ion pair produced in the chamber can produce a very high pulse in the region now region 6 at the end of gm region the counter now enters in the continuous discharge region now the operating voltage is so high that multiple pulse pulses are obtained and it has nothing to do with the incident particle their types and how much is the initial ionization it is not related anyhow to the initial ionizing event so this region is also not of any use